Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Creep. There's your progression all the way through the song. Uh, I'm not going to try and imitate what the guitar is doing with the arpeggios and all that stuff. Um, I just did a, a strum inversion. Uh, Alright, so we need a G chord. Third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. That's my G. And then I need a B chord, which I'm going to bar uh, the first two strings at the second fret, third string, third fret, fourth string, fourth fret. Then I'm going to need a C chord, first string, third fret only. Then I need a C minor chord. I'm going to bar uh, 3, 2, and 1 at the 3rd fret and leave the 4th string open. Those are my chords. Um, later on I'll show you how to do some sus sounds, uh, but for now that's it. So the progression is G twice, B twice, C twice, C minor twice, and it just keeps going through the whole song. So we got a G chord, and my strum today that I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to try and imitate them as best I can, so I'm going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's one measure. So down, down, up, down, up, down. And I'm going to do that twice. So the G would sound like... Then the B. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, C. C minor. One time through G chord. B. Okay, so that's it. You could you could vary it. You could do any number of different strum patterns that you wanted. Um, that just happens to be the one I chose. But if you want something else, uh, there's plenty of them out there. Um, now, uh, during a couple of the chords, there's some sus things that they do. Okay, so like on the B chord, for example, the second chord in the song. Uh, you got your B chord, just the way you do it, and you could put your pinky on the 3rd string 4th fret to create a B sus4, and then you release it to go back to B. So let me show you. I'll play it through in a moment, but uh, let me just zero in on it. So the B chord, I'm going to do one full pattern on the B, then I'm going to put the pinky down on the 3rd string 4th fret, create the sus, and do... I'll do like half the pattern, like down, down, up, release the pinky, down, up, down, up. So that's basically what you hear me doing. I'm going to go. In fact, I did it a little differently. What I do is when I put the pinky down, it went down, down, up, and then when I lifted the pinky up, I did down, down, up again. So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing when I'm playing through the progression. So, so it's uh, the B would be down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Put the pinky down, 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 up. Put the pinky up, down, down, up. Okay? And then you're going to do the same thing on a C chord, uh, same pattern, except what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the second string first fret. So it sounds like this. A full pattern on C. And then the sus. Let it go. Okay? So that's the second string first fret. Creates a C sus4. Okay? So let me play the progression, and this time I'll add those variations. So a G, a B, C, C minor. That's all song. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please subscribe. Play more Oak.